the Earth System Science Organization, ESSO of Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India launched a mega project, the Monsoon Mission in 2012. Technically, Monsoon Mission aims to set up a state-of-the-art dynamical modeling framework with reasonably good and reliable prediction skill. The specific responsibility to develop a model of monsoon forecast for extended range to seasonal time scale was assigned to ESSO, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology at Pune. IITM plays a very major important role. It's almost like the anchor for monsoon mission. Uh, if you look at it, we run the program from here in IITM on behalf of the Ministry of Earth Sciences. And uh, we also, or whatever the research that is being done in monsoon mission, kind of either is done at IITM or it kind of passes through IITM. And whenever any external research is done by, let's say, a foreign university or an Indian university or an Indian research entity, uh, it, it kind of comes to IITM. We check out what the quality of the research that has been done and whether that uh, idea, the formulation or the changes to the model are they worthwhile to put it into the new forecasting system? That is kind of tested out by IITM, rigorously tested, and then it kind of goes into the production model. The institute selected Ocean Atmosphere Coupled Dynamical Model, Climate Forecast System version 2.0 as the base model for further refinement to suit Indian conditions. The model was adopted from the National Centers for Environmental Prediction, USA. Dedicated team of weather scientists at IITM worked tirelessly on the state-of-the-art facilities created under monsoon mission. We have to get whatever research that happens in monsoon mission should be translated into operational forecasts. So the whole idea of the monsoon mission is to have a significant societal impact. So to do that, we have to, all scientists have to work on single modeling system. So that was the biggest challenge. So we have to bring all scientists to work on our modeling system. Doppler radars are playing key role in early detection and warning of heavy rainfalls, cyclones, hurricanes, etc. A dedicated network of Doppler weather radars has been set up at strategic sites to track direction, height, intensity and movement of weather systems and the data thus gained is analyzed to have precise information on rainfall, monsoon depression and other extreme weather events. So here I am showing you the signature of a depression which was monitored by Doppler weather radar. These echoes have been received by the Doppler weather radar. We can see here that how the system is well organized here and whenever the system moves here, it goes in the anti-clockwise direction. And as we can see from this color table also, when we go from the blue towards the red color, that shows the intensity of the precipitation amount of the rainfall. So those places where it is shown in the blue color, the rainfall is less, but other places where the red or the orange is there, it shows the heavy rainfall. Tracking is done round the clock and data is uploaded on the site of IMD regularly at 10 minute intervals. The range for detection of weather systems is 500 km. But for velocity measurements, the effective range is nearly 250 km. Monsoon Mission is making effective use of weather satellites in weather forecast by developing RGB images of upper atmosphere on six spectral bands. New images are uploaded at every 15 minute interval. During the monsoon season, depression and low pressure area is formed in the Bay of Bengal or the Arabian Sea. And these uh, low pressure area or, or depression is being monitored with the help of satellite images. As they progress from the Bay of Bengal Ocean to the land region, they are continuously being monitored by the satellite images. And the forecaster can predict how much area has been covered by the rainfall and how much rainfall has been occurred in the different regions, as well as the progress of the monsoon taking place. With the help of RGB images, different types of clouds are identified with their height and temperature that helps in forecast of rainfall along with its intensity on specific areas. 
high performance computing facility has been created with combined performance of 5 teraflops and the supercomputer installed at IITM ranks 24th in the world in its computational ability. The state of the art IT cell created under monsoon mission is at the heart of weather forecast working 24 7 